Hi family, welcome to the Luck Mom's channel. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nanchoka. I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. Um, I'm doing a follow-up on the case of Joyce Indinda. Ni alikuwa ni kemboi, alipiwa na madalala sana. Her video went viral. And now it is funny that the story has taken another new twist. Of which we are going to listen from Jackson. This Jackson is saying, uh, the fact is that um Stana alikuwa nafanya kazi uh, as a housemaid, akukasana, akatoroka kwa makemboi, akakemboi, kukemboi ni kutoroka kwa boss, unaenda kwa dalala, ambaye ni kemboi, akwa advanced, anaku host. So um Stana alikaa one year, eight months, pale kama kemboi, Na alikuwa nataka arudi nyumbani lakini dalala wake ndi alikuwa na muyekea pesa. Uyu msiana kukua ituma pesa nyumbani. I talked with the parents na waka confirm. Walikuwa na muliza, anapeleka pesa wapi, alikuwa na sema ye ya me, ya me save. Have seen a clip, wana muliza, akona pesa ngapi, haka sema ya kona 500k kwa account yake. So, our wasiana, walikuwa na muza vibaya kwa wanaume lakini sasa, Kuhundo yu msana ameshika mimba wakaanza kumupia walitaka yu mimba itoke ndi wa muuze zaidi. Lakini ni ulishangazo kuwa ule dalala mwenye amewasimamia ile information anatoa. Anatoa kama atiwezi funzo na, na, na mzazi utafunzo na ule muengu. Ongoja kidogo, ongoja kidogo ladies and gentlemen. Jackson hapa, mtu wa sijaribu kuscroll. Yes. Now ladies and gentlemen, nataka tuende directly to the point. Hii story ya huyu msichana anaitwa Joy. Huyu msichana video yake imekuwa ikisakulate kwa mitandao akipigwa vibaya na akigongwa tumbo akivunjwa vunjwa na wenzake. Na mkashangaa inaweza kuwa ni metoka wapi na hii story inafanyika wapi. Tumeweza kufanya uchunguzi sisi kama e, wana mitandao na tumeweza kukamap na e, the real information. Huyu msichana ni kemboi, ni msichana alienda kufanya kazi eh, Saudi Arabia kama mfanyakazi wa nyumba na akatorokanga akaenda kufanya kazi nje. Akakuwa kemboi. Na alipofika huko nje stories kwa mara mbili. Story ya kwanza ile tulipata ya kwanza inasemekana huyu msichana alipata kazi kwa Mpesa. Alikuwa ana run mpesa yenye aliweza kutoroka na pesa zote za mpesa which zilikuwa 800,000 unaona na tukiangalia tunashangaa kwani float ya mpesa inabeba mpesa huwa inabeba pesa ngapi wengine wanasema ni 300,000 lakini mimi sijui mambo ya mpesa venye inawaka haya hiyo sorry kakuja ika, ikaisha Tena video zingine zimekuja mpya sasa na, na zimekamu na sura za wenye walikuwa na mpiga vizuri na information nyingine tena tafauti. Na hii information ukiangalia vizuri ladies and gentlemen inasema ya kwamba huyu msichana pesa ya chama alikolekt pesa ya chama hawa wasichana walikuwa kwa vyama na huyu msichana alikolekt pesa za vichama na akadisapia nazo akaenda kuishi na mwanaume mwenye alikuwa anafanya nini anatombesha kulingana na vile information inasema walijaribu kumtafuta wakamkosa hadi ile siku yenye waliweza kumpata ndio sasa hizo video zenye maana akipigwa ni hiyo siku yenye sasa alipatikana unaona hizi ni story mbili tofauti sijui gani ndio ya ukweli sijui kama kuna ingine tena ya tatu Unaona? Lakini mimi kwa upande wangu mimi kama mimi baada ya kukaa chini hivi na kuangalia nimeona eh nifuatilie story vizuri. Na pia kuna watu wengine pia wenye wanajaribu ku reach out kwa huyu msichana mwenye alikuwa anampiga huyo msichana mwenye nasemekana ni mkubwa wa hiyo kikosi yenye napiga huyu msichana. Na kuna sauti zenye naambazo amekuwa akieneza ama akitumia watu akisema ya kwamba hakuna kitu mnaweza nifanyia na ningependa msikilize hizi sauti muweze kuzisikiza Honor, we are not being intimidated by any of your threats 
Honor, we are not being intimidated by any of your threats, sawa. Whatever you wish to do, you just do. Unolizia msichana ukiulizanga ni nini ilifanya achapwe. Uki mulizia hujua na ilifanya nini. We don't care. Kwenye mnataka kuenda endeni. Kwenye chenye mnataka kufanya fanyeni. We are not being intimidated. We are not feeling sorry for anything that happened. Sawa. Next time kilea mda mo. Ata kiswaili inasemanga vizuri sana. Asiafunza na mamake. Uwa anafunza na ulimuengu. Na kama. She's not even worried. She's like what she did was the nice thing. But uh, her, day, her days are also numbered because she's also working in a foreign land. So, in case yeah, Joyce may take a new twist, but uh, the good uh, news is that Joyce is coming home this week. And uh, the embassy of Kenya in Saudi Arabia has just intervened for the case of Joyce in Dinda and she'll be home very soon. Uh, actually, this week. I'm just telling one lady so you wanna kazi kwa contract, stick to your contract. There's nothing good outside the contract unless kama unasikia unataka upiwe, utrend, unaweza kemboi. Because we need to be our sister's keeper and to see your go ukiona mwenzako akiwa na shida, make sure we intervene. Let's make this world a nice place for everybody to survive in. I just want to share with you what Jackson was saying. Na huyu dalala ndio usikie vile wanaunyama alafu wanafikiria the the world is the world is in their hands. Hakuna mtu amebeba dunia na mikononi mwake. Life is very tricky. Kenya unafanyia mwenzako ndio utafanyiwa. So just have a look. Vile Jackson anaongea ndio msikie vile huyu dalala ni mnyama. Kuja mpya sasa na na zimekamna sura za wenye walikuwa nampiga vizuri na information nyingine tena tofauti na hii information ukiangalia vizuri ladies and gentlemen inasema ya kwamba huyu msichana pesa ya chama alikolekt pesa ya chama hao wasichana walikuwa kwa vyama na huyu msichana alikolekt pesa za vichama na akadisapia nazo akaenda kuishi na mwanaume mwenye alikuwa anafanya nini anatombesha kulingana na vile information inasema walijaribu kumtafuta wakamkosa hadi ile siku yenye waliweza kumpata ndio sasa hizo video zenye unaona akipigwa ni hiyo siku yenye sasa alipatikana unaona hizi ni history mbili tofauti sijui gani ndio ya ukweli sijui kama kuna ingine tena ya tatu unaona lakini mimi kwa upande wangu mimi kama mimi baada ya kukaa chini hivi na kuangalia nimeona Eh, nifuatilie historia vizuri na pia kuna watu wengine pia wenye wanajaribu kuricha out kwa huyu msichana mwenye alikuwa anampiga huyo msichana mwenye inasemekana ni mkubwa wa hiyo kikosi yenye napiga huyu msichana na kuna sauti zenye ambazo amekuwa akieneza ama akitumia watu akisema ya kwamba hakuna kitu mnaweza nifanyia na ningependa msikilize hizi sauti muweze kuzisikiza by any of your threat honor we are not being intimidated by any of your threat sawa whatever you wish to do you just do unolizia msichana ukiulizanga ni nini ilifanya achapwe wewe ukimuuliza hujua na alifanya nini we don't care kwenye mnataka kuenda endeni kwenye chenye mnataka kufanya fanyeni we are not being intimidated we are not feeling sorry for anything that happened sawa next time kilea mda hata kiswahili inasemanga vizuri sana asiyefunza na mamake huwa anafunza na ulimwengu na kama